My name is Clark Bishop and I'm a fourth year pharmacy student here at the College at the University of Oklahoma. I originally was a pharmacy, pre-pharmacy degree option when I went to the Norman campus back in 2002. But I decided to be a student athlete and battling the, all the demands of student athletes and then trying to do chemistry and all these tough science courses, I was like, no way. So I moved away from that, uh, got my undergraduate studies in sociology and health and exercise science, had no idea what I wanted to do. Went into a graduate degree program for advertising to get a master's degree. I think I wanted to go into broadcast journalism and sports advertising. I got a full-time job with Walgreens as an assistant manager. Uh, my store manager was a pharmacist and he put me into the pharmacy. He said, you have to know it, it's 75% of my business. And so he put me uh, two hours a shift back in the pharmacy, learning workflow processes, patient care, um, fell in love with the people, and not just the ones I was working with, but definitely the patients, uh, being able to, to handle their needs. And I wanted to take that further, got really interested in pharmacy, and took the plunge and applied to pharmacy school. And here I am four years later. I'm most excited about people. You know, the didactic portion of pharmacy is necessary to be a good pharmacist. You have to know the drugs, you have to know mechanisms of action, uh, you have to know side effects. Those things are pertinent and important. But the most valuable thing I've learned while I'm here is, is leadership. And leadership is people. I've got a lot of opportunities um, after graduation right now. I currently sit with seven different offers. I've got all kinds of decisions to make in the next two or three months. It's going to be in a retail setting. Um, my goal is eventually to be in government affairs and regulatory of pharmacy. So that's a little bit different career path than a lot of pharmacists choose. A lot of pharmacists want to be on the front lines in patient care delivering, and I need to do that for a while. So I will start in the stores because I can't validate myself or, or be a voice for pharmacy on a legislative level if I haven't been a pharmacist on the front line. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and uh, we'll move from there, get a wide breadth of knowledge, and uh, then be able to tailor that into something a little more narrow as I move forward with my career.